The sign server signing action can be found on the GitHub Marketplace by searching for key factor or sign server. Documentation on how to use the action, samples, as well as supported signings can be found on the action page. On the Marketplace page, you can also find the link to the GitHub repo for the action. The same documentation can be found in the readme of the repo as well. For any issues or suggest improvements, please refer to the community support information at the bottom of this page. To be able to run the action, you need a signed server instance accessible by where you choose to host your workflow on GitHub. The action expects the provider workers to already exist in your signed server instance. Here is my signed server instance that I have. For the simple case of this tutorial, I have set up a P12 crypto token and a JRCAD signer since I will be signing a JAR in this example. The signing action currently supports two types of authentications, which are no auth or client cert. In this tutorial, I will be setting the authentication to client cert. This can be done by setting the auth type to client cert on the configurations in the worker. The authorized cert can then be set up under authorization tab. Here you can see my client cert has been added to my worker. For this tutorial, a GitHub repo was created with a hello world folder that is provided as a sample in the documentation. The hello world project will be used to create a jar that will then be signed. The workflow that will be used in the action to sign the jar is also provided as a sample and needs to be under .github workflow folder for GitHub to recognize it as a workflow and to be able to run it as an action. In the provider workflow, three secrets are used. These secrets are the URL where the signs of instance is running, a client cert for authentication when sending a signing request, and the credentials for the client certificate. The secrets are added under settings, then secrets and variables, and actions. Here you can see the three actions that have been added. When following this tutorial, you can choose to use the sample workflow or you can create your own. The first part in the sample workflow defines on when the action should be run. In this case, it is set to workflow dispatch, which means it can be manually run under actions, which I will show how to do later in this video. Then it is set to run on an Ubuntu machine and the home folder to be a Hello World folder. The checkout action is used here to check out the repo so the files in the repo can be used. Once this is done, a jar from the Hello World sample is created. Here, another action called Upload Artifact is used to upload a created jar to artifacts where it can be found in the action once it has been run. The next step in the workflow is downloading the artifact using Download Artifact action. This is needed since it's done in a separate step in the workflow where the previous created jar is not available. This is a useful way of using inputs or output across different steps in the workflow. The next step of the workflow is saving the client search from the secret variable to a P12 file that can be provided for the signing action in the next step. Now that we have everything we need, we can use the signing action. Here the URL where the signed server instance is running is provided from the secret at the endpoint variable. The path to where the jar you want to sign, as well as the worker name and the worker type are also provided. And since our worker is set up with client cert authentication, the client cert and its credentials are provided as well. The action will sign the file from the provider path with the chosen worker. In our case, this is our hello jar with our JRCAT signer. Once successful, the signer jar is uploaded to artifacts. The last step in the workflow is downloading the jar and verifying the signature using jar signer. The last step in this tutorial is to run the workflow. This is done under the actions tab in GitHub. Here I'll choose the workflow I want to run, which in my case is demo sign server. On the right side here, you can see a run workflow dropdown. Click on it and then run. If you wait a few seconds and then refresh your page, you should see the workflow show up in the list. Opening the workflow, you can see three parts, build, sign, and verify, which are defined in the workflow. Each step is yellow while running. If it fails, it will turn red and stop. You can then enter that step and see why it failed. If it succeeds, it will turn green. It is done when all the steps are green. Now that this is done, you can also see two files under artifacts, one being the jar that we created and the second one, the signed jar. These can be downloaded if you want to. This is a simple example on how the sign server signing action can be used in a workflow to get a signed jar.